good. Yeah, no, that felt great last night coming back. Um, yeah, that's one of those wins we needed. Uh, it's uh, been a long time since we had a comeback win, so and it felt really good last night. Yeah, no, for sure. It was a tough play early in the first period. Um, yeah, stupid play. And then uh, um, I think the second one is just kind of bad balance, tough, tough break. Um, but yeah, no, it felt really good to find the team, find a way to come back and making that play in the first period uh, and to be able to, uh, you know, pass the winning goal. It feels really, yeah, makes makes it feel really good. How much more satisfying is getting that win knowing that it was another game, it was another one goal game, it was a game in overtime, you had over 40 shots, you outshot your opponent by percent. So many different things that have been listed about this team that have seemingly gone against you, but you find a way to turn it into a positive. How much more satisfying is getting a win knowing all of that was back Yeah, no, I, everyone was super excited last night. Uh, right, you know, right was top score, it was coming into the room. Uh, yeah, I felt like uh, you know winning a playoff game. So uh, I think if you would have won, uh, won, you know, four two four one, I don't know, regular, it would have not felt as quite the same. So it was a very special feeling in the room after. With six games left, what gives you the most optimism that you can leave for all the Jets in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean we played them one more time. So um, if we take care of our business and uh, you know. We have a really good chance, you know, get to play them here soon. So uh, that game's going to be huge um, if we do the take care of business before it. How much scoreboard watching is going on right now? Are you just checking the standings or are you tuning in and watching the actual games at this point? Well, I think uh, every year at this point, this time of the year, you check the standings and scores uh, more than you do early in the year and uh, or kind of mid season. Uh, so, uh, and, uh, well, yeah, of course you check. Um, how Winnipeg are doing, um, and uh, you know, but it's, at the same time, we gotta take care of our own business first and win our games. If we don't do that, it doesn't matter. But at the same time, you know, you always check and see. And now there's when it's really close. Do you know their result by the time the puck drops to kick off one of your games, or do you tune it out and just focus solely on the task at hand? Whether it be uh, the, yesterday when they play Detroit, you play Vancouver. How does that situation play? Out? Uh, yeah, we didn't really talk about it, but uh, I walked by the gym and the tee was on, and I saw I didn't see the final score, but I saw it was like five, whatever something, and yeah, so uh, figured it would win, but they didn't pay too much attention to it. Um, right before the game, uh, it's on the TV, um, but just don't pay a whole lot of attention to it uh, when it's that close to our it game. To do? Like, I, I watched soccer this morning, Manchester City wins, Arsenal's ahead of them, has to go out and win, and put that extra pressure on Arsenal because of that, but you don't really feel that way? Well, I, kn I knew, you know, when we were down during the game that for, for lose this one, we're going to be down four again, and we're behind four. And um, so, once again, it felt really great to come back and keep the gap at two points and keep the pressure on. Does Nashville, does Nashville factor into your scoreboard watching at all? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll check them too. Uh, we know they have gains in hand. Uh, we also know they have a really tough schedule, um, but anything can happen. So, yeah, yeah, we're checking theirs. You've been in this situation before when you're chasing late in the year and it hasn't gone in Tim's way. Oh, sorry. What's important in you know kind of keeping your focus where it needs to be, and knowing that you personally have been in a similar spot like this before? Yeah, I think it just comes down to what I said before. You just gotta mainly focus on to carry your own business first. If you don't do that, it doesn't anything else doesn't matter. So, um, and you know you gotta stay positive throughout it. Uh, can't let things frustrate you because um, it's always hard to chase and to be. Um, you know, to chase uh, for a long time, it's hard. Um, uh, but now that we're, you know, we're inching closer, it you know makes you feel better and gets brings some more energy when you you see the signs that you're uh, closing the gap. What's uh, what gets said during the second year mission of that Vancouver game? You're down and you obviously come back. Who does the talking and what's the message to the players in that situation? No, it's just uh, everyone's you know mixed. Uh, if you, 
but message just you no know, go out, just leave it all up there. Um, whatever it takes, we're winning this game. Pardon me? Oh, it was really good. Uh, he stepped up for us. Uh, we didn't help him early in the game. The chances they had were some great aids, and you know, I give breakaway in a two on one. So uh, he played real well for us.